I've talked about it, I've mentioned it, but we've never had a dedicated episode to inflammatory breast cancer until now. Some of you might be familiar with the diagnosis of inflammatory breast cancer. That's what I was diagnosed with about a year and a half ago. And if you've listened to any of my other videos or been to my webpage, you've probably at least seen that mentioned there before. But like I said, we've never had an episode actually dedicated to inflammatory breast cancer. And this seemed like a great time because this past month I've gotten to team up with Komen and do uh, a couple videos with them. I had a Facebook live chat and I'm really excited because uh, coming up, I get to do their, um, their podcast as well. And Komen's um, focus for this month has all been centered around inflammatory breast cancer, which is actually really cool because there's not a lot of people that know a lot about it. In fact, let me hit you with one stat that just kind of continues to, to amaze me. And that is out of all the breast cancers that are diagnosed, which there are thousands of breast cancers diagnosed every year, only one to 5% is actually inflammatory breast cancer. So I completely understand why it's not as well known when we talk about breast cancer. Um, it, it, inflammatory it obviously fits in the category of breast cancer, but it's not, it's not the, it doesn't present the same way as other breast cancers. And it's just not something that I think most people have in the back of their mind when they say breast cancer. And if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times, I didn't even know what inflammatory breast cancer was about a year and a half ago. So I'm not gonna go into all the science of it. If you wanna look that up, there are some fantastic resources out there. Google inflammatory breast cancer, but look at, um, Let's see, what's the, one of the best ones I was just checking out? You can, of course, go to cancer.org. They're going to have information there. Uh, MD Anderson is really good. Mayo Clinic will walk you through of, of what to look for or what inflammatory actually is. But I'm going to give you a, um, an idea of what happened for me. So uh, if you've heard my other stories, you know I was pregnant with our second child. And as my pregnancy continued, my left breast um, began to change. That didn't really freak me out at first because when I was pregnant the first time, my breasts got a little bit bigger as I was anticipating um, the arrival of our little girl, right? I was going to breastfeed. It all made sense to me. But this was a little early in the pregnancy for my breasts to be getting quite this big and my left one began to get quite a bit bigger than my right one. So the change in size, it, it, it wasn't symmetrical, right? My left breast looked a lot bigger. Like it had, it had trouble fitting in my bra at this point. Um, it was red. And if you look on a lot of websites describing inflammatory breast cancer, they're going to talk about like an orange peel skin look. All right. So if you get really close to an orange, your breast doesn't become orange, but the way the skin dimples in and can even look a little bit shiny has happened with some people. Um, but this is what my skin began to look like. Okay. And it was thick like this, like the skin itself felt really thick and it just, it didn't look at all like my other breast anymore. It was super red, really inflamed, all right? It became sore, it hurt to touch, it hurt to put a bra on, it hurt to have anything laying against it. And with the breast getting so much bigger, then like my nipple began to get like kind of enveloped by the breast. Um, and if you're going, wow, I don't see why you wouldn't think that's a problem. Here's the deal, it looks so much like mastitis. Having a misdiagnosis for inflammatory breast cancer is incredibly common. In fact, I just recently read four other women's um, stories that were diagnosed with inflammatory and none of them were diagnosed correctly the first time. I wasn't either, all right? It was very much thought that I had mastitis and that was multiple doctors, multiple midwives looking at me and saying, yeah, yeah, it looks like mastitis. It became very clear for me that it wasn't mastitis as antibiotics, even IV antibiotics, didn't do anything to clear up this infection. All right, but this idea that if you go to the doctor with the symptoms of inflammatory breast cancer, you're automatically gonna walk out with a correct diagnosis needs to be expelled. There's just not enough people that are super familiar with how inflammatory presents. But this makes sense, right? Unless you're Dr. House, you're not always looking for that weird diagnosis. You're, you're looking at the symptoms and what it probably is, is what it probably is. And it probably is mastitis um, in a fair percentage of the time that people show up with those symptoms. However, inflammatory is really important to have diagnosed. So I'll go back to something I've made another video about, and that's about being your best advocate. 
if the diagnosis you get for some reason doesn't fit what you feel, what the symptoms are presenting as to you, get a second opinion, get a third opinion if you need to. Because with inflammatory breast cancer, it is aggressive and it moves quickly. By the time it was found for me, I had stage four cancer. It already spread to my lymph nodes and to my liver. So you don't really have a lot of time to mess around with inflammatory breast cancer. So know the symptoms. If something's weird with your breast, chat with your doctor, do your own research, be smart about the resources that you look at, know how stuff presents, and then go in with a good uh, set of questions that you can ask. Go in well informed because at the end of the day, this is your life. And if you so happen to wind up with inflammatory breast cancer, you need to move quickly with what you're going to do next. So if your breast looks different, if it's bigger, if you get this orange type skin pattern thing going on, if it's sore, if you have a lump, if something just doesn't seem right, then go get checked out. And let me encourage you all the more that if your diagnosis just doesn't fit what you think is going on, get a second diagnosis. It's your life. It's, it's so important. You just have the one. Be an informed patient and hopefully you wind up with the correct diagnosis and hopefully it's not inflammatory but if it is then move quickly because there are things that you can do and there are things that can help save your life or at least extend your life but you gotta be informed and you gotta have the diagnosis